Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. On this video clip we're going to talk about polynomial function and the zero of this polynomial function and the multiplicity of some zeros. So let's see two examples, 21 and 22. So in order to find the zero of a function we have to make that function zero. So in this case I'll make y equals zero and we end up with a polynomial equation. How we called? This one is in factor form, so we're going to use zero product property and we're going to have x equals zero as the first equation with a solution x equals zero and x minus one equals zero, which gives us x equals one. Okay. These are the zero of this function. And now let's take a look to multiplicity. Okay. We look in here, this power of three tells us that this x equals one is a zero and the multiplicity of this zero is three. In other words, x equals one is three times the zero of this function. And also you can see here the picture of this function and whenever the multiplicity is an odd number, in this case was three and in this case one time, the graph cross the x-axis, okay? Let's take a look to number 22. In fact, you pause and uh, write the zeros and we're going to discuss about behavior after that. So if you have this answer for the zero of the function, that you did a wonderful job. X equals two and X equals one are the zero of this function. And the multiplicity of X equals two is two, right? We see that power of two here. And the multiplicity of X equals one is one. And let's take a look to our graph. Okay, so that is the thing that is very interesting. This, this here about uh, multiplicity of 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 you will see it whenever you have an even number the graph is gonna touch the x-axis and is not gonna cross the x-axis at that point okay let's take a look to number 23 again we're gonna make 0 equals 3x cubed minus 3x. So again, a polynomial equation, but we need to write the factor form now. The GCF is 3x, and then we have x squared minus 1. And x squared minus 1 is a difference of square. We can factor out as x minus 1, x plus 1. So now we have the three zeros of this function, x equals 0, x equals 1, and x equals negative 1. And since uh, we have no exponents in the factor form right here, each one has a multiplicity 1. The graph is like that. Right? So again, multiplicity 1, 3, 5, an odd number is the graph cross the x-axis. You see, it crossed at negative 1, crosses zeros, and it crosses 1 because the multiplicity in this case is 1, an odd number. Okay, uh, pause this video clip and try number 24.
So if, we, if you have this 0 for number 24, x equals 0, x equals 1 half, and x equals negative 1, you did a wonderful job. Uh, let's see the graph. And you see those uh, 0 here, negative 1, 0, 1 half. Multiplicity of each one is 1. And we see that also on how the graph behaves. You cross a negative 1 because the multiplicity is 1. You cross a 0, multiplicity 1. You cross a 1 half. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square for more math video clips. Thank you.